Hello friends and welcome to this video. In today's video, we will learn about the closure property of rational numbers. Children, you must have read about numbers in previous classes. Now let us revise this once. Children, what are natural numbers? Sir, the numbers which we can count are called natural numbers. Like we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 fingers in one hand. Well done Rahul. Children now let us move ahead and add 0 to these natural numbers. Now who will tell what we call such a group of numbers? Sir, we call this group of numbers whole numbers. Mohan, you are right. Children, you may all know that sometimes we have to use negative numbers. Like during winter, the temperature drops to zero in many places. This is represented by a negative number like minus 2 degrees Celsius. Now if we add negative numbers to whole numbers, then what is the group of numbers called? Sir, we call this group of numbers integers. Well done Rahul. You remember everything from the previous class. Children, you have learned about fractions where we used to write a number as a numerator and denominator. Now look at this number line. If we go half a step right from 0, we get 1 by 2. But when we go to the left from 0, we get negative numbers. For example, going half a step left, we will get minus 1 by 2. You can see here that it is neither an integer nor a fraction because the numerator and denominator must be positive to be a fraction. So what is this number? Sir, this is a rational number. Well done Mohan. Children, now can you tell the definition of rational numbers? Sir, rational numbers are numbers that can be written in the form of P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. Sir, why can't Q be equal to zero? Mohan, if I asked you the value of 8 by 2, what will you do? Sir, I will search for a number which when multiplied by 2 gives me 8 and that number is 4. Well done Mohan. Now, what is the value of 8 by 0? Sir, this cannot be found. I can't find any number which gives me 8 when multiplied by 0. Rightly said Mohan. And we call such a number undefined. Sir, I have understood now. Children, you have already learned about closure property in the previous class. Can you tell me, what is closure property? Whenever we use an operation on the numbers of a set and the resulting answer also falls within the same set, then we consider that set to be closed for that operation. Well done Rahul. Children, now add these integers and see. Will we get an integer after adding them? You can pause the video and try. Children, what can we say about the closure property of integers? Sir, integers are closed under addition. Because every time we add two integers, we will get another integer. Well done Mohan. Are rational numbers closed under addition? Let's examine it. We take two rational numbers. What will we get by adding 1 by 4 
and 2 by 3. You two try to solve this question. Children, is this also a rational number? Yes, sir. It is a rational number. Children now add the following rational numbers and observe the result. Children, you will see that adding any two rational numbers gives another rational number because rational numbers are closed under addition. Children, in this session, we learned about different types of numbers such as natural numbers, whole numbers, integers and rational numbers. We also verified the closure property under addition of rational numbers. In the next video, we will discuss closure properties of rational numbers under subtraction and multiplication. That's all in this session. See you in the next session. Thank you.